What is up, Division 2 agents? This is Gamer for Life back with another Division 2 video. Now, this one, we are going to go over the year 200s. Now, if you thought the year 100s, some of those were complicated to do, you have not seen anything yet because there, there's a lot of these that are super complicated. You can probably tell by the runtime of the video. Get your popcorn ready. Oh, we're going to be here for a bit. So the first one we want to go over, it is going to be the Weirdo in Drama Mask. So this is going to be two masks that we're going to get. And I'm going to show you exactly where I'm at first. So you can see here is District Union. We are to the right of that. If you want to take a look at the streets, you know, 5th, 5th Street, Northwest, G Street, in between G and F Street. Right in front of this building is where we are at. Sometimes there is a territory control, which is uh, what I had to take out. So just take that out. Let me come out here so you can see face on. This is what it's going to look like. It's like a little Christmas deal. So what we are going to do first, because there's a couple of locations, a few locations that we're going to have to go for this. First thing you want to do is come to this Christmas present here. And you're going to see on top it has something, a small present, that we can interact with. And we want to open this present. So we are going to do that. It gives us a generator key. And we want to pick that up. So that's the first generator key that we want. Now I will meet you at the second one. All right. So we are at the second present here. You can see it's by this nutcracker that is you know, falling over. Let me show you exactly where I'm at. Now, the best way I've found for you guys is just to know exactly where to come, just go to, the, to these exact coordinates, right? But just so you can see, I'm just to the right of DCD headquarters. And yeah, just come right here. And you will see this nutcracker here and then just go to the present and we'll get that second generator key so we got that and now off to the generators all right so we are over here at the generators that we're going to want to interact with we have one here there's going to be another one over there i'll take you to in a minute but just so you can see exactly where we are at uh, there is a settlement right just south of the uh, district union stronghold just fast travel here and come through this area this is where we did one of the uh, hunters for the year one hunters in this courtyard but just come through we are right here and, and again you can look at those coordinates exactly where i'm at okay so yeah come over here to this generator first we want to hop over here or you can go around the building come around and then we want to turn this on. Okay. Now we're going to go to the other generator, which is just right over here. Okay. And we want to turn this one on. So after we turn this on, we want to follow this yellow line here. jump over you can see it brings us to right here so we want to pull this all right you'll hear that noise then we want to come back over to this generator and we want to follow this yellow line so just follow this jump over then come here and pull this one Okay, now we want to go back up front and on this little stage in the middle. And you'll see this big present and right over to the left of it, you can see press button. Now when you press the button, the hunters, they're going to spawn in front of us, okay? Hey, maybe we'll get some help from these guys. Oh, 
All right, so you saw we got that off-white key. Just killed this last hunter. This is the drama mask. So we will, you can take a look at that. We will pick that up. Save you guys, you know, the fight because the one thing about these hunters, and I'm just going to the other hunter I killed. One thing about these hunters is they pop a lot of med kits. So it is long fights sometimes. I mean, if you're in a group, maybe you guys can take them out pretty fast, but on a low level character and by yourself, yeah, it can be. And this is the weirdo mask. So, again, that is the weirdo in drama mask. Yeah. And on to the next one, my friends. All right, so I probably should have brought you guys in here to begin with so you can see what we're trying to get. We're trying to open this box right here. You can see we need eight off-white keys. And we did just get that first key, so we are one of eight. And this is the wall that all of our year two hunter mask will be on. And you can see the two that we just got, the weirdo and drama. So yeah, and this is going to have the hunter killer that you guys see at Cassie Mendoza's from all of these vendor resets. That's what this box is going to have. So once we unlock it, you will now be able to have it in Cassie Mendoza's inventory every single week. All right. So let's go get these other keys, agents. We're at the next location where we want to be. We want to come to Space Administration. It's all the way at the bottom right of the map. This mission, Space Administration HQ. All right, now before we go any further, I just want to show you guys where the in-game clock is because I did forget to mention that on the last key, the generator part you wanted to do at nighttime. And nighttime is after 2100 hours and before seven in the morning okay so this is where you see the time now it used to be you had to go in photo mode but uh the one thing that they did for us is they put it just when we open our uh, menu so you know it make life a little easier for us agents so this is the end game clock whenever i say it has to be done at night this needs to be like i said after 2100 hours this is five in the morning so technically this would still be considered at night all right so with that out the way you see you come to space administration and when you get here we're going to turn left here and just go exactly where i'm going there's going to be a room a door we can go into right here And you're going to have a touch screen that you want to interact with. So just do that. And you can see it turns orange. And that lets you know that you activated it. And now I will meet you guys at the next location. All right, so we're at the next location. Let me show you exactly where we are. All the way at the north of the map. Uh, where the water is, the exact coordinates, 2273, 3801, I Street, I and 10th, you can see here's H, I and 10th. So what we want to do is come over here, there's a little construction site, just come over to the left side here, and again this is at the water. And we want to go up here where this blue tarp is. And there's going to be a button for us to press. So we're going to press this button. And again, this has to be done at nighttime. All right. And you're going to see the lights over here come on. And then they're going to go off. And we have to turn. All right, and we have to turn those lights on in a specific order. So just basically just do exactly, turn the ones on exactly that I'm doing and you'll be good. So we want to come down here to the left first. And we want to hit this one. Okay. And then come up here straight up this is gonna be our second one we're hitting six of them so this is our second one then the third one is right over here okay 
right. Fourth one. And you can see there's multiple ones. So if you hit the wrong one, it will reset it. And so our fifth one is over here to the right. All right. And now the last one that we need to do is back at the beginning where we were. You can see it flickering. That's the last one we need to hit. And any enemies around you may want to take them out so they don't join the hunter in trying to kill you. Alright, so we took those enemies out and now this is the last one that we need to hit. And when we hit this, the hunter will spawn somewhere around here. So here we go. And there he is. we go so we have another off-white key and the camel mask all right got that one done and now to the next one all right my friends so we're gonna start the process of getting the next mask so what we have to do is get these lion eyes and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do so come here to Riverside Gas Station. If you don't have it taken out, just take it out. Should be easy if your map is on normal. And you're gonna come to this fridge and we're gonna open it and you'll see we have a pair of lion eyes. There's six of these I believe that we are going to get. So this is the first one. And you can do this any time of the day. All right, so the next area that we're gonna wanna go to is here where this territory control is, where we want to go into this building. Now, one thing I will say not to do, and this was a problem back in the day, people were fast traveling to the DZ West, and of course we know when you go to a DZ checkpoint, a lot of the times it transfer you to another DZ, and what that was doing was resetting uh, what we're doing like so if they got some lion eyes and they then they did this it would take them to another map which would send them which would reset and they would have to do the lion eyes start the lion eyes over so avoid going to the checkpoint unless you're doing this one first but anyway i just wanted to put that out there so this is where we're going and i will meet you there all right, so we made it over here. I took out the territory control and I came back outside just to, just to show you guys, this is the donut shack. So I'll show you exactly. This the if the territory control wasn't here, you would have saw you would have seen it was a food resource. So if there's if there's nothing here, you'll just see that it's a food resource. All right. So what we want to do is go in here and go all the way to the back. Then we're gonna have a fridge right here and this is our second set of keys. Oh, I'm sorry, lion eyes. All right, pick that up and on to our next one. All right, so we are here at a restaurant for our next set of lion eyes. Let me show you exactly where I'm at. You can see the control point IV tunnel then just to the right of that, and take a look at those coordinates, uh, 16, or I'm sorry, 1770 and uh, 2090. Okay, all right, so we need to go inside of here. Then we'll have our fridge right over here. Open that up, and this is our third pair of lion eyes. All right, so we are over here at this burger joint for our fourth pair of lion eyes. So let me show you exactly where I'm at. We're at another food resource, just a right of falling cranes right on this street. 
And if you want reference for the safe house at this safe house, and we come right up here, take a look at those coordinates. All right, and then we're gonna go inside and go to the back. There will be a fridge right here, and we will get that. All right. All right, we are at our next location for our fifth key, another restaurant. Just above the vault, north of the White House, at this food resource. Uh, pretty easy to find. So just come here, just come right inside, and we have our fifth lion eyes. All right, on to the very last one. We are at the last location for our lion eyes. You can see the noodle bar. Show you exactly where I'm at. Just right of District Union and just left of this water resource. If you don't have this collectible yet, then you can pinpoint the collectible because it's going to be right beside it. So if you want to take a look at the coordinates, there we go. So we just go inside of here and all the way into the back we have the fridge now here's the collectible which will take you right to it uh, well, let's turn it off real fast all right and the last pair of lion eyes so i know you're wondering okay well what did we just get all of these lion eyes for but what we have to do with them is interact with lion statues now so come with me and we'll find the first statue all right so we are at the first lion statue you can see here so we are just left of the nest control point here's the dcd headquarters if you want the exact coordinates 1389 2405 and you know it's right by this outcast lockbox so what we want to do is walk up to it and we are going to interact and what it's going to do is turn around and what you we have to do with all of these line statues is go in the direction they're looking so their line of sight is going to take us to the next statue which is right here and again, you can do this day or night. Daytime is probably the best time to do it. So we'll hit this one. It's gonna turn left. So we want to go in that direction. And some of these can be long walks, but I'll stay with you guys uh, just so you can know exactly where to go. All right, this next statue is up these stairs. Okay, now we go in this direction. So I would say definitely much easier to do in the daytime. As you can see, the next statue is right here. Interact with that. That is going to turn all the way around. We go in this direction. Okay, so what's going to happen here is yes, it's a dead end, but we need to go keep going this direction. So we need to just mark over here. And we're going to have to go around.
take that mark off. And here is our next statue. Interact with this one. And again, follow its direction. If you have some enemies, probably need to take them out. Okay. So we're going to go up here. And our last lion is going to be right here. Now, if there's enemies around, again, like I said, you may want to take them out so they don't shoot you in the back when you're fighting the hunter. Okay, so we're going to interact with this lion, then it's going to turn in the direction that the hunter is going to spawn. It should be right up here somewhere. Yep. Alright, so we took the hunter out. Again, saved you guys the fight. And we got our next off-white key, and this is the Angel Mask. Told you guys some of these were going to be complicated. Alright, so we got this one. On to the next mask. To get started on this next mask, you want to come over here. We're right beside Toxic Alley, and want to come into this underground entrance. So I just tra fast traveled to bank headquarters and made my way up here and you know, came down this way. And then we want to go all the way down here and you may want a flashlight for your pistol for this. So we want to come all the way to the end and turn right. Control point nearby. And then once this area to the left opens up, we want to come over here. There's going to be four boxes we need to shoot. This is going to be the first one. Take that out. Then we're going to come back around and go all the way down to this red light. It's going to be another box we need to shoot all the way in the back here. See right there. So second box. Now we want to come through this way. And we will we're going to be going all the way over there to the other side. Okay. And to our right, we're going to have another box all the way down there. You can see our third one. Now our fourth and final one is going to be around here. You see a lock box or a key box right there. And then when this little opening happens to the right, just come here and we'll have our fourth and final box to shoot. Now we want to go back into that room we were just in. And you're going to see when we come around here see that light flickering down there that's where we want to go all right so you can see we can interact with it when we interact with it a heavy is going to spawn and we just need to take that heavy out and he's going to drop us a museum ticket There he is. So let's just come down here and take him out. Or you can stay up there and take him out either way. All right. So here is the National Building Museum ticket. 
So we need to take that and go to our next area, which is going to be all the way over here. Let's see, on this back side. So yeah, let's go do that. All right, so we made it over here to the entrance, just so you can see again, to the right of District Union. If there is a territory control around here, you do want to take that out because I have had them come and mess with me while taking the hunter out and the hunter despawn. So do that and the exact coordinates 1929 4539. So let's go in here. Go to the store, turn left. Come in here, turn right. And this first right will go through and we are going to interact with a computer this one right here okay as soon as you interact with the computer it will spawn the hunter Alright, so again, save you guys the fight. He did pop quite a few medkits. So we've got our next off-white key and the carbon mask. Alright, so that is that one. On to the next. So we are going to get this next mask started. So this does need to be done after 2100 hours. You can see here, just turn 2100. And we are going to come, this is the waterfront. Now, the first things you guys need to do, take out waterfront control point, take out celebration hotel control point. First thing, after you do that, come back to the video. All right, so we are just to the right of waterfront in this little courtyard here with all these flags. So you should be able to find that pretty easy. So you can see we have flags here, but there is one, two, three, and four poles that do not have flags. What we need to do is go get those flags. So you get here, you have to interact with this generator, turn on. So we turn that on. And then we are going to get the flag. So come back to waterfront control point. All right, and this is why you need to have this taken out is to have access into this room because down here is where we need to go for our first flag. And you can see on the ground, pick up, this is going to be our first flag. Pick that up. Okay. Now our second flag is going to be right over here. All right. So I just wanted to use this as a reference for you guys. These are the components and I'm just going to take you with me over to this side. Components are up there. Of course you have enemies take them out. And we need to stay on this right side. And just follow this all the way down. Right, and then we're going to turn right here and we want to stay on the right side come down a little bit and the flag is going to be right here so if you want to walk a little slow uh, you'll come across it on the right side pick up flag and I will show you exactly again almost exactly where I pinpointed it 
Okay. So our next flag is at the Celebration Hotel. Let's go. All right, so you may want to come and do this during the day, this one part, because there's a door that's going to be closed here and you need to shoot the lock off of it. And it's extremely hard to see at nighttime. So I already came during the day and I did that. So now what you need to do is come over here, climb up right here. turn to the right and this is that door so this door will be closed and have a lock on it that you have to shoot from down there and then come up here open it up and our next flag our third flag is right here pick that up and now we are going to go to our fourth and final flag so we want to fast travel to this safe house the food bank all right, so once we get here, we wanna come out here, go down this rope. Then we are going to come out and turn left. And this is gonna take us right over here. You can see all of this water. We need, we need to drain this water and we do that right over here. Right here, Let's press this button. That will drain the water out. And then we come over here to the cor this corner. It's gonna be our last flag that we need. So we pick that up. And now we have to go set those flags on the poles where we started the first generator. So all the way back here is a territory control there now. So I'm gonna take that out and I will see you over there. All right, so I'm back over here. I just took the territory control out and there are some uh, fire bullets over here, incinerary bullets, if you want to put those in one of your guns. All right, now we need to come back over to these flags. Again, like I said, there's four flags that we need to hang. This is the first one. Second one. third one and the fourth one over here okay now we need to come back to this generator and when we interact with it again the hunter will spawn Let's see So, took him out, another off-white key, and this one is the Divide Mask. All right, got that one done. On to the next one, my friends. All right, so we are gonna get this next mask started. Now, just show you exactly where I'm at. You may wanna take out this boathouse control point, uh, and eventually we're gonna end up on this side. But for now, uh, after you take that out, come over here can see exactly where I'm at okay you see this Christmas market we are right across from the Christmas market I'm sorry I'm trying to hurry up because these need to be done at a specific time so this first part right here needs to be done between 5 30 in the morning and 7 in the morning in between those times so you want to come through here just go exactly where where you just saw me come and you can see the time is 6.04 or 6.05 now. So we're gonna come over here. You see this light to the right of the light is going to be a button we need to interact with. So we do that. That's the first one. Now the, and you heard that sound, let you know you did it correctly. The next one needs to be done between seven and 1800 hours. And that is going to be at this Trinity Church safe house. 
so you can see we are at the Trinity Church safe house so you just want to come here and if all right, just so you can see a reference of where we're at inside the church you want to come out of this door and again this needs to be done between 7 in the morning and 1800 hours it will let you interact with it outside of those hours and if you do it's going to reset everything so you can see the time is 705 and you want to come in between this box and use this touch screen so that's the second one we need to do alright you heard it so that means we did it correctly so that is that one now the next thing that we're gonna have to do is come back over here that's why I said you may want this unlocked so you can fast travel because we're gonna come right back here and this is going to have to be done at nighttime so after 2100 hours I'll meet you over there alright so we are over here just under just south of the boathouse control point you have to come around into right here so the next thing we have to do and again it has to be done after 2100 hours so just turn 2100 so yeah so what we have to do now is you'll see I'm on the boat in here you'll see up top where this clock is that yellow box we're gonna shoot that yellow box and it should make a sound and a hunter will spawn all right there we go So, another off-white key, and this mask is the neurotic mask. Alright. So, got that done. On to the next one. Alright, so for our next mask, you want to come here to the gate control point. Alright, and I'm, we're going over here, but I just wanted to show you exactly, bring, bring you guys with me just so you can see. We're just going straight down this road and we are going to be going to a laundromat. Okay, it's actually right here. So let me put the correct pinpoint. All right. So right here you'll see UDBG and we're going to want to go through these doors and come all the way to the back and we're going to be looking so you have your first row and then your second row on the back side there's going to be a washing machine with the number 23 and we want to interact with it and this can be done at any time of the day alright so once it flickers and it turns red now this part is done now what we want to do is come over here to residential building go to the safe house okay so just come down here and what we're wanting to do is go to this building over here come up top where this yellow paint is and we want to go to this door but we need to open it so we need to follow that yellow line back here take out the enemies if you want but we need to hit this box okay now we're going back over here to go through this door and we want to go all the way in the back straight back and we're going to pick up a fuse 
Okay. So now we are going to go back to that laundromat. So I will meet you over there. So we're back here at the laundromat. I'm going to go back in this room. This time we're going to come around here to the left and there's a fuse box. We're going to put that fuse in there. Okay, now we're going to go back to that same washing machine from the first time we were here and interact with it again. This time it's going to drop us a key. Pick that up. Bring it back this way. And we are going to go upstairs to apartment 23. Go in here. All right, so we're going to come to this wall interact with the wall all right so we do that now we are going to come around let's see somewhere around here I'll show you exactly and I'll just you know keep you guys with me so you'll see exactly where I'm going so let's go come down here and go out this door take your left you can see that's the front entrance of the laundromat place. And we're going to turn left here at the corner. And what we're going to want to do is our first right is where we're going to go. And I'll show you how you will know you're in the correct place. It's right over here. You see that flickering light up there? then that's exactly where we want to go into this alleyway left here then we come here if we look up there's going to be a rope that we can shoot bring that rope down now we go up the rope And let's hope that aerial deal leaves us alone. All right, come down this ladder. Go this way, turn right here. And then we're gonna turn left and we can knock these down. And then we're just gonna take this and go straight. Go over here. Go up these stairs. And keep going straight now we want to go into this door but we have to open it all right so we see the yellow line it goes here then goes over there a yellow box shoot that out should open the door there we go then we come around into this room and now in this room over here where the lights flickering dare you to come closer and there is a scorched body that we have to interact with so we'll do that okay next place we want to go to is gonna be right around here all right so again I'll just keep you guys with me so you'll know exactly where to go? Immediate medical assistance needed. And this is going to have two hunters. Just follow your line. Uh, yeah, I'm going towards the burning buildings. Take out these enemies. Okay. So we just come over here. 
And when we get here, you're going to see there's another body right here. And when we, when we interact with this body, it's going to spawn the hunters. Okay, so let's do that. Should be two of them. Okay. All right. So we got our ivory key. And this is our first mask, a Psycho Mask. All right, and let's go get our other mask. Which, yeah, he died right over here. And this is the Drip Mask. All right, so Psycho and Drip. That's those two. We got one more to go with four hunters. Four hunters. Let's go get it. All right, so to start on this next one, this part can be done day or night. Now, there's going to be some parts where it has to be specific day or night, but this part you can do either during the day or at nighttime. So you can see exactly where I am at. Here's the wide view. You can see I'm all the way to the left of the map. So you can see I'm on Washington Street. So I, what I did, I just fast traveled to the Trinity Church and made my way over this way. In between these two buildings, that's as far as it'll let me zoom in. Just pinpoint right here, it'll take you exactly right here. So you'll see for reference, this is the surrounding area, okay? So we want to go into this door and we are going to interact with this computer. And this is the first step. So we interact with that. All right, so you can see it kind of turns orange. So this part is done. Now I will see you at the next part. All right, for our next location, we are over here where this X is. So let me show you exactly where I'm at. Okay, so I'm on Maiden Lane. I'll give you a wide view. So this is Park Pathway Park. And just bottom left of it. Just right here in between these two buildings. Just pinpoint it. You can pinpoint it right here and it'll bring you right to this spot. All right, and so you want to go where this X is. We're going to go through here. And again, this part can be done day or night. Now, on top of this Christmas tree, there's going to be a star. We want to shoot the star. When you shoot it, you'll, it'll start glowing like, like it just did. So that, that way you know you did it correctly. All right, that's the first one. On to the next one. All right, for our next area, we are right here in front of this you can see this big Christmas lights, Christmas tree deal. We've got our next tree. So before I shoot it, let me show you exactly where I'm at. Just right of, let's see which safe house. Yeah, just right of the Trinity Church safe house. Right on the other side. Exactly, just pinpoint this exact location. And it'll bring you right here and this is the next tree we need to hit that star up top and you can see it's starting to glow a little bit all right the next location we're going to is at the trinity church and i will meet you over there all right so we are just outside of the trinity church safe house and to give you a little reference, like on this side is the entrance, one of the entrances to the Trinity Safe House. 
So if you come out there, just come around here, right into the front, and there's gonna be another Christmas tree. And we want to hit this star on top of the Christmas tree as well. All right, so started the glow, did that correctly. Now we have one more Christmas tree we need to go to. And just to give you guys some reference, I came back over to this one part that we were at earlier. Remember right in front of that Christmas market? All right, so we are gonna turn right and the area is right here. And then I'll show you the location on the map. So this is gonna be the last Christmas tree up here. Just so you can see exactly where we're at. That control point we took out earlier, the boathouse. And we are just left of Wall Street. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take these enemies out real fast. I'll be right back. Okay. So we want to shoot the star up here. And then we're going to want to come over here and there's a present. Open present. Some smoke will start coming out. We'll pick up the, con the, the key. Yeah, and we know we did this correctly. On to the next location. All right, so we are at the next location. So we are to the right of Brooklyn Bridge and just under the residential building. And what you want to do is come in here, this Christmas food market, and we are going to interact with this generator, the key that we just picked up, we are going to use here. Okay. So now what we have to do is hit some targets. Now we have 12 apartment buildings. We have one, and these X's are the buildings. One, two, three, four, and come down here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. We have to hit these in a specific order. Six of them has to be done at night, Six of them have to be done in the daytime. So the first six needs to be done at nighttime. So you can see it is after 2100. So between 2100 and seven in the morning is when this first part needs to be done. And I would recommend getting a gun to where you can zoom in. It's gonna help you see these targets. Now, you just have to hit them in the order that I'm gonna show you. We need to go right in front of the safe house first. And I'll just keep you guys with me and we'll go through all this together. Okay. And you'll probably have enemies over here you'll more than likely have to take out. Okay, I did not mean to drop down there. I'm gonna take him out real fast. All right, sorry about that guys, just some random dogs here. Okay, so the first target, like I said, is going to be on this first building where the safe house is. So you see exactly where it is. And this is why I'm saying have the zoom because the target is right up here. So we'll zoom in, you can see it better. And we'll hit that. And the way you know you did it correctly is the target will not come back up. So you see how it stayed down? Did that one correctly. All right, the next place we want to go is in between these two buildings. So this is three, or this is two, and building three. And again, I'll keep you guys with me. Probably have to end up taking out some enemies too. So we're just coming around here. Well, hopefully these guys will help me out some. 
There's definitely a lot of enemies around these areas. Jeez. <gasps> All right, I'm gonna take these guys out. Okay, like I said, right in between these two buildings. And the first one we want to look at, obviously, is to our left at building number two. And up top here, you're going to see the target. Take that out, stay down, did it correctly. Now, you can see we're face on on that building. Now we want to turn around and look at building three. And at building number three, this target is the third one down on the left side. Take that out. All right. Now for our fourth target, we're going to come in between this one. And I'm just going to leave all the trophies I collect on the ground so I can collect those just before I fight the hunter. Hunters, because there are four hunters. Okay, so we're in between. Now we're in between building three and four. And of course, we're going to be looking at the fourth building right in front of us. You can see right here. Take that target out. All right. On to building number five. And this is where we want to pinpoint this one. Just right here. There we go. And you know, I'm not trying to be annoying keeping you guys with me going up, you know, doing all the walking. I just want to make sure you guys know exactly where you need to be. Just so there's no confusion. Okay. Oh, let me take these guys out. All right, so we are at building number five. Okay, so we just want to look right here. There's our next target. Take that out. Stay down. Did it correctly. Now, building six is just right over here. I'll point it, pinpoint it to, but it's right over this way. And if you want some reference of where this is, that's where we hit the console, or that's where we hit the, uh, put the key into the generator. And this one's kind of dark, but if just for reference too, uh, it's, you see these three, it's gonna be the middle, and it's gonna be the fourth one up. One, two, three, and four. That's why it's hard to see four, because that tree. But just so you know, it's the fourth one up from the middle. Okay, that was the sixth one. So, yeah, so that is what we need to do at nighttime. Again, between 2100 hours and 7 in the morning. Now, the next targets that we need to do are during the day, and we need to do those between 7 in the morning and 1800 hours. So, I've got a little bit of waiting to do. You guys will be there right now. All right, so we are at building number seven. As you can see, it is just about to turn seven in the morning. So where you can see exactly where I'm at, like I said, for reference, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we are at seven. We're looking at seven. We are close to eight we're looking ahead at the corner of seven. The eight is right here. All right, so it is definitely seven o'clock now. At the corner of seven, and you just wanna shoot the target, stay down, so we did it correctly. And now we're turning around to eight, and we're just gonna come around here on this other side. 
And again, just be prepared to take out a lot of enemies. I've been taking out enemies left and right over here. All right, and this one on building eight is all the way up top here. Shoot that one. Okay. Now, we want to go to nine right down here at the corner. Again, I'll keep you guys with me. And this one you gotta kinda get close to because you have some trees. So we're actually going to turn right here. This is building nine. We're gonna come in here, kinda close this tree, we'll block it, and there it is. Look up, take that out, and there we go. Now, building 10, right here on this back side. So this is building 10, 11, and 12. There was a uh, activity over here that I had to take out. So on building 10, you can see right up top here. Take that out. All right. Now building 11, let's see if we can see it from up here. I think we can. You can, all right, there it is. So for reference, you see these tarps in between these tarps right here. Take it out. Cool. And now for this last one, we have to get up here. And just to give you guys a reference, I know I keep doing this, but this was 10. This is the one we just hit on 11, and now the last one, 12. All right, so when you get up here, right in between these two tarps, you can barely see it, but that is the target. And there you go. So that was the last target we needed to hit. Now we need to go back to the generator that we use that key on. All right, so we are over here by the generator and when we hit this key we're gonna have four hunters at spawn I'm gonna we have some friendlies over here so that's actually a good thing they can help us out all right so we're gonna hit this key and there we go this guy just hit like four med kits in a row man Come on. Where are you at, friendlies? Where are you at, friendlies? So it looks like one of the hunters did despawn, unfortunately. But I'll go back and pick up the mass of the ones that I did take out. So this is Trip. We'll pick his up. And, you know, if you're in a group, you guys should be fine. But when you're one person, your shade level's not great, and you're fighting four hunters, <sighs> if you don't take them out fast enough, they will despawn, unfortunately. So that was the first one. I'll meet you at, at the second one. All right, so we're at the second hunter I took out. You can see that was the paranoid mask. All right, so we'll pick that up. All right, so here is the third hunter we took out, and this is the lucky mask. So if that does happen to you, and one of the hunters do does despawn, and you don't get your off-white key or your last mask. You could just do the steps over again, and that's actually what I just did. So I did end up getting the last mask that I needed and the last keys. So you can see now we have all the masks on our wall.
All right, so yeah, now that we got all eight keys, then we'll come over here to this box and open it up. And we have the Hunter Killer chess piece now. Now that we have this, and of course we have the Shield Splinter from the Year One Hunters in the previous video, now these will be in Cassie Mendoza's inventory every single week for you guys. And sometimes she has some really good Hunter Killers. And the Hunter Killer chess piece, I mean, Perfect Intimidate, they did rework it, but it is still a great talent. There's not too many talents out, out there to where you can get up to 40% extra damage for your guns. And that's exactly what this talent allows us to do. So yeah, hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, it was definitely helpful to me to get all of these Hunters, uh, the Hunter Mask on my PC character. So yeah, I definitely enjoy doing it. Again, that's what we're all about here at this channel, is just helping each other out, make things as easy as possible for you guys. And of course, you guys give suggestions as well in the comments, which is appreciated. Just looking out for each other. So yeah, that's all I've got in this video. Hope you guys are doing good, staying safe out there. And as always, my YouTube family, take it easy.